자, 그러면 1월 30일 월요일 모닝 헤드라인스 조지현 뉴스카스터와 함께 시작합니다. 오늘부터 국내 마스크 착용 의무 조치가 권고로 전환되면서 실내에서 더 이상 마스크를 쓰지 않아도 됩니다. 하지만 병원과 대중교통 등 일부 시설에서는 착용 의무가 그대로 유지됩니다. China's state-run media has decried comments by a U.S. senior general that the U.S. and China could go to war in the next two years, calling the remarks reckless and provocative. 미국과 중국이 향후 2년 내에 전쟁을 할수 있다는 미군 고위 장성의 발언에 중국 관영 매체가 무모하고 도발적이라고 강하게 비난하고 나섰습니다. The Taliban has doubled down on their ban on women's education, ordering private universities in Afghanistan not to allow female students to sit university entrance exams. 아프가니스탄 집권 세력 탈레반 정부가 아프간 내 사립 대학의 여성의 대학 입학 시험 응시를 금지하는 명령을 내리면서 여성 교육 금지 정책의 강도를 한층 더 높였습니다. Jamaican sprinter Usain Bolt says he is baffled over how more than 12 million dollars of his money has gone missing from a local private investment firm, leaving his account balance to inexplicably dwindle to just 12,000 dollars. 자메이카의 육상 선수 우사인 볼트는 자국의 자산운용사에 맡긴 돈중 1,200만 달러, 우리 돈으로 150억 원이 넘는 금액이 사라지면서. 자신의 잔고가 12,000달러로 줄어든 불가해한 상황에 대해 당혹스럽다는 입장을 밝혔습니다. ChatGPT, an AI chatbot that has only been around for two months, is already being compared with the launch of the iPhone and appears to have unnerved traditional search engines like Google. 출시된 지두 달밖에 안된 AI chatbot, 챗 GPT가 과거 아이폰 출시와 같은 혁신에 벌써부터 비, 비견되고 있으며 구글로 대표되는 전통적인 검색 엔진을 위협하는 모양새를 보이고 있습니다. And those are our headlines. 모닝 헤드라인 익스프레션스 The first expression is to no longer be required to do something. Yes, if you're no longer required to do something, no one is telling you anymore what to do or not to do. Mm. So it's up to you whether you want to wear masks indoors or not. Mm. So the government is no longer telling you, mandating you, or requesting for you to wear masks indoors. <sighs> 어, 그러니까 더 이상 뭐뭐를 할 필요가 없는 거죠. You will no longer be required to wear masks indoors. 대체적으로는 실내에서 마스크를 착용하지 않아도 된다라는 걸 이렇게 표현한 거예요. Be required to do something. Be mandated to do something. No longer. 더 이상 아니다. The next expression is decry. So decry is to publicly denounce or criticize or condemn. Right. So condemn, I think, is probably the strongest um, word out of all of those. Mm. Um, so decry is maybe like the second strongest, uh, but oh, okay. it is still quite strong. Mm. Um, here, China's state-run media has publicly mm. mentioned this is um, something very provocative mm. and this was a reckless comment made by a U.S. senior general and they have decried these right. comments. 여기서 decried 다음에는요. 뭐를 비난하는지를 얘기하셔야 돼요. Mm. 그래서 uh, decried comments 아니면 decried remarks 라고 했는데요. 이런 발언, 얘기들에 대해서 비난을 한 겁니다. 
이 cried라는 것 자체가 뭐뭐라고 외치다 음. 의미가 있어요. 그래서 음, 양치기 소년 음. 이야기 다 아시죠? 거기 보면은 그 양치기 소년이 늑대라고 외쳤기 때문에 영어식 제목은요. The boy who cried wolf예요. 그런데 여기서는 그냥 외치는 게 아니라 de cry이기 때문에 비난을 공개적으로 하는 겁니다. 왜 그랬어? 음. 무모하다. 뭐 도발적이다. 이런 얘기를 했죠. 그래서 uh, China has decried comments by a U.S. senior general. The next expression is to sit an exam. Yes. Uh, sit an exam means to literally take an exam. So um, you're physically going to a certain location mm. in order to take an exam. In this case, it's a university entrance exam. Yeah. And it was the story of the Taliban prohibiting or putting a ban on mm. female students, not allowing them to take or sit university entrance exams. Exactly. And this move is being decried yes. by the international. National community. Mm -hmm. 전 세계적으로 탈레반의 이런 조치에 대해서 비난을 쏟고 있어요. 그런데 뭐라고 발표를 했냐면은 female students will no longer be able to sit an exam for university. So sit an exam이라는 게 시험을 치르다, 시험을 보다 이런 뜻입니다. Take an exam이라고 해도 돼요. The next expression is Dwindle. Mm. Dwindle means that it's slowly uh, diminishing in size mm. or decreasing in size. So um, if you had $100, but you wanted to buy chocolate for yourself, <laughs> <laughs> bought one every single day, mm -hmm. then your $100 will dwindle in size <laughs> by the end of the month. <laughs> okay. Yes. 그래요. 뭔가 숫자가 이렇게 줄어드는 거를 dwindle한다라고 얘기를 하죠. Mm. 그래서 you could say uh, the number of people that went to the concert. Last time it was 100,000, but this time it was just 1,000. Mm. So the number dwindled. Mm. 그래서 많이 줄어들었다라는 의미로 볼수 있고요. 뭐 때에 따라서는 점점 줄어들다라는 의미로도 볼수 있습니다. 어쨌든 uh, decrease의 의미라고 보시면 되겠고요. 마지막으로 unnerve입니다. Yes. If you unnerve someone, you are making someone very nervous and anxious and a little bit less confident mm. uh, about what they have. And it is exactly what we're talking about because of the launch of chat GPT and its capabilities. They're so strong that it has appeared to have unnerved traditional search engines like Google even. Mm. 그렇죠. 뭐 구글과 같은 어, 전통적인 이런 서치 엔진도 불안하게 만드는 그런 AI 챗봇가 나왔습니다. 두 달밖에 되지 않았지만 yes. 지금 업계에서는 예전에 스마트폰에서 아이폰이 했던 역할을 이 챗GPT가 하고 있는 것 같다. 이 AI 업계에서 음. 그런 얘기를 하고 있거든요. 좀더 지켜봐야 되겠지만 unnerve라는 표현이 나왔습니다. 자, 이렇게 오늘 헤드라인에서 나온 표현들 리뷰해봤고요. Morning Headline Expressions는 오디오 어학단과 유튜브에서 무료로 다시 듣기 하실 수 있습니다. 1월 31일 화요일 Morning Headlines 뉴스카스트 레이와 함께 시작합니다. 서울 시티 has announced it will raise the base fare for mid-sized cabs in the capital by 1,000 won to 4,800 won from February, and the initial minimum distance will be shortened to 1.6 kilometers from the current 2 kilometers. 서울의 중형 택시 기본 요금이 2월부터 4,800원으로 1,000원 오르며 기본 거리도 2km에서 1.6km로 줄어듭니다. The battery compartment of a Tesla vehicle spontaneously caught fire in California over the weekend, prompting firefighters to use 23,000 liters of water to extinguish the blaze. 지난 주말 미국 캘리포니아에서 테슬라 전기차의 배터리에서 자연 발화로 화재가 발생해 소방 당국이 2만 3천 리터에 가까운 물을 뿌려 진화했습니다. Authorities in Western Australia have revealed they are looking for a tiny, potentially deadly radioactive capsule that went missing during transportation more than two weeks ago. 호주 서부 지역 관계 당국은 작지만 치명적일 수 있는 방사선 물질이 담긴 캡슐이 2주 전 운송 과정에서 분실됐으며 여전히 수색 작업을 진행하고 있다고 밝혔습니다. 
Unprecedented rainfall in New Zealand's largest city, Auckland, has triggered red and orange heavy rain warnings, with New Zealanders bracing for more heavy rains this week. New Zealand's 최대 도시인 오클랜드에 유례 없는 폭우가 쏟아지면서 적색과 황색 폭우 경보가 발령됐으며 이번 주에 더 많은 비가 내릴 것으로 예상됩니다. A curious black bear has been caught on a motion-activated wildlife camera near Boulder, Colorado, posing for hundreds of selfies. 미국 콜로라도주 볼더에서 호기심이 많은 흑곰이 야생 동물 관찰 카메라 앞에서 수백 장의 셀카를 남겼습니다. Morning headline expressions. So, 오늘 headline에 나왔던 표현들입니다. The first one was base fare. Right. So, if you think of the base, it's the bottom of something, mm-hmm. right? So, a base fare is going to be the minimum amount you're going to have to pay. Right. Base fare, 기본 요금, and that's going to go up for taxis in Seoul from three thousand eight hundred to. 4,800 from tomorrow. Right, and now yeah. it's no longer the that that the distance mm. that is covered, is covered by that yeah. is actually going to be shortened as well. Exactly. So it's going to go up faster. Yep. Uh, base fare, 기본 요금이었고요. The second expression was spontaneously. In this case, we're talking about the, the battery that mm-hmm. just suddenly combusted in a Tesla. Yeah. So it spontaneously caught fire. Mm-hmm. It happened because of some malfunction mm. with the battery. No outside forces affected it. Yeah, exactly. Spontaneously, 이 경우에는 저절로 이런 일이 일어났다라는 뜻이에요. 그래서 자연 발화, 화재를 말하는 그런 표현이었습니다. Spontaneously, the battery of this Tesla vehicle caught fire. 그래서 불이 났는데 어떤 다른 원인이 있었던 건 아니에요. But normally when we say something is spontaneous, it's just like on the spot. On the spot. You mm. just decided to do it. Mm. And you might say, oh, we just spontaneously decided to mm. take a vacation. Ah, like one time my wife and I did that, mm. right? Like she was just, this was years ago before yeah. the pandemic. Sure. And we were just watching TV. I, yeah, we must have watched some travel show in mm-hmm. Japan or something like that. Yeah. And then she just started looking and she's like, oh, I can get this ticket, but it, it's to Japan, but I don't know which city and it's mm. a really good deal. And we just bought it spontaneously uh-huh. and the next day... Went. Oh, 그러니까 갑자기 결정하게 됐을 때도 we just spontaneously made a decision yeah. to to travel. Right. 이렇게 말할 수 있군요. 그래요. Yeah, spontaneous라는 게 이렇게 즉흥적이다라는 의미도 있고, 그다음에 자연적으로 저절로 일어나다라는 뜻이 될 수도 있습니다. The next expression was potentially deadly. If something is deadly, it mm. means it could kill you. Yeah. And potentially means there's the chance that it could happen. Mm. So potentially deadly, we're talking about that little capsule with radioactive material. Yeah. It might not kill somebody, mm-hmm. but it could. Could we say potentially fatal? Sure. Same thing? Yeah. Ah, deadly 대신에 fatal 쓸 수도 있어요. 둘다 치명적이다, 사망에 이르를 수 있다라는 뜻이고요. 그 다음에 potentially는 잠재적으로 그렇다라는 겁니다. So, I mean, the capsule itself is not deadly, but, you know, if it were to be exposed, right. if, the, if the contents of the capsule were to come out, yeah. you know, then it would be deadly. The capsule. I like how you say it. Oh, how do you say it? <laughs> capsule. Capsule. How oh. do you say schedule? Uh, well, I say schedule and schedule. Oh, okay. It depends, but now I've been in Korea long enough right, to right. stop saying schedule. <laughs> <laughs> but nonetheless, 다음 expression is to brace for something. Get ready. Get ready. Get oh. ready, prepared. Mm. Um, a lot of the times, it, you know, in, in this case, people have to get ready for, they're probably going to have to, you know, batten down the hatches, as they say, make sure all their doors and windows sure. are mm-hmm. secure. Um, if someone tells you, you know, to brace yourself, mm. then they're going to give you some information. So in, you know, probably something that might be hard to hear. Yeah. So in that case, you're kind of preparing yourself mentally. Mm. Brace yourself 라는 표현을 많이 써요. So Ray 선생님이 지금 설명해 주신 것처럼 안 좋은 일, 어, 아니면 좀 무서운 일, 이런 것을 앞두고 있을 때 준비하는 겁니다. 그래서 마음 준비를 단단히 하다, 아니면 뭔가 단단히 대비를 한다, 이런 의미가 있어요. 그래서 내가 안 좋은 소식이 있는데, 레이, 마음의 준비를 좀 해. Brace yourself. I have some bad news. 
and oh, I'm, I, oh, I, might, I, okay? might, I might sit down as well, mm. so I'm going to prepare myself physically as well. Oh, That's yeah. the thing with, with, with brace for something. It can be mm. physical, it can be mental, mm -hmm. it could be both. So mm -hmm. if I can tell you're going to give me some, mm -hmm. you know, bad news, I, I, I might even just sit down. Mm -hmm. You know when people say sometimes, I, I got some news, are you sitting down? Ah, because no, it's no, going to be so 있니? shocking, you might faint. Ah, brace yourself 랑 비슷한 건데, are you sitting down? 너 지금 앉아 있니? 내가 너한테 지금 할 얘기가 좀 충격적이거든. 좀, 좀 편안한 자세로 앉아서 들어. 이런 느낌으로도 말할 수 있는 거죠. 그러고 나서 이제 그 소식을 전하면 되는 건데요. Brace라는 게 그런 의미가 있습니다. Brace yourself and to brace for bad weather or heavy rain in this case. Mm. In that case, probably mm. it means, you get know, ready for it. Yeah, get yeah, ready for it. Maybe yeah. you're not going to go to work. Stay, stay indoors. Yeah. Make sure your house is as secure as possible. Absolutely. And check, uh, you know, if your flight is still operating, probably not. Right. Like, things like that. Right. So, 마지막 expression is selfie. Selfie. What was the Korean word again for it? Selka. Selka. Okay, that, that, <laughs> yeah. that's a that's a weird one when it comes to mm. Konglish for me because I don't understand mm. the ka part. The but camera, camera, ka. But you're taking a picture. Yeah, Does but that's mean... what Korean people say. Oh, okay, that's an interesting one. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that one. Mm, so selka, selfie in English. Mm. When you hold up your phone or you used your selfie stick to. Yep. Take a picture of yourself. Ah, selka bong and selfie stick. Oh, selka bong. Selka bong, that's what it's called? Selka <laughs> bong, selfie stick. That's the English word. Selka is what we say, but in English, it's selfie. Ah, it's a very cute one. I don't like it. I've seen a lot of selka. So, we've seen the headlines. Review the headlines. Morning headline expressions in audio, on the YouTube and YouTube. You can hear it again on YouTube. 자 그러면 2월 1일 수요일 모닝 헤드라인스 뉴스카우스 레이와 함께 시작합니다. 국제통화기금 IMF가 올해 세계 경제 성장률을 작년 10월에 전망한 수치 대비 0.2% 포인트 올렸으나 우리나라의 경제 성장률은 0.3% 포인트 하향 조정했습니다. The White House has announced plans to terminate on May 11th its COVID national and public health emergencies put in place nearly three years ago during the Trump administration. 미국 정부는 트럼프 정부 때 선포된 코로나 공중 보건 비상 사태를 3년여 만인 오는 5월 11일에 종료할 예정이라고 밝혔습니다. Soaring utility, utility bills are pinching many household budgets across Korea as the average price of heating bills skyrocketed over the past year by more than 50%. 난방비의 평균 가격이 지난해에 비해 50% 이상 치솟으면서 전국적으로 시민들의 가계 부담이 가중되고 있습니다. The death toll at a mosque suicide bombing, which targeted policemen in Pakistan, has risen to at least 100 people in what has become one of the worst attacks in the country in recent years. Pakistan has been a terrorist attack on the Islam terrorist of 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 the Islam. The Jewish descendants of an owner of a Picasso painting who sold it under duress have launched a lawsuit against the Guggenheim Museum in New York, demanding the artwork be returned to its rightful owners. 강압에 의해 피카소의 그림을 한, 어, 판, 한 유대계 소유자의 유족들이 최근 뉴욕에 위치한 구겐하임 미술관을 상대로 해당 작품을 반환하라는 소송을 제기했습니다. And those are our headlines today. Morning Headline Expressions Let's have a look at our key expressions. I'm not wearing a hoodie today. 
in contrast to what I'm wearing, Ray is wearing a hoodie. That's right. That's right. So contrast means to, it shows a difference. Mm-hmm. In contrast, 는 대비된다, 대조를 이룬다라는 뜻이에요. 그래서 오늘 한 명은 후디를 입고 한 명은 후디를 입지 않았다 이런 예를 들었는데요. You can say it for anything. Yeah, you can yeah. even say like our our accents maybe, right? Okay, like I have a yeah. North American accent. In contrast, you have a British accent mm. when you speak English. Yeah, exactly. In contrast to something, 뭔가와 대조를 이룬다라는 의미가 되겠죠. So in the first story, we learned that the IMF has laid out its latest projection for 2023. For the global economy, it says that the economy, the the growth rate, is is higher now than it was a couple of months ago. In their in their forecast, in right? Their forecast, They've yeah. increased their forecast. Yes. They think it's going to be mm. they're going to grow a little bit more yeah. than they thought in October. But for Korea, in contrast to that, opposite. Yes. They think the Korean economy will not grow as much. Mm. As they thought it was going to back 그렇죠. in October. 네, 모모와는 상반되게 이런 느낌으로 보시면 되겠습니다. The next term is to terminate. Right, and I think one of my favorite movies, <laughs> The Terminator. <laughs> 음. If you terminate something, you end it. 음. Kill it, it's done. All I know from that movie is yep. Hasta la vista, baby. Hasta la vista, baby, baby yeah. 음. 그거밖에 모르는데. I'll be back. You don't know that one? Oh, I'll be back. Yeah. 있었죠. 슈워츠네거가 그런 유명한 대사를 남겼잖아요. 그래서 터미네이터라는 것은 뭔가를 이렇게 파멸시키는 뭐 로봇. Was he a robot? Uh, yeah. A robot이었죠. He was a 여, terminator. 영화를 잘안 봐가지고. <웃음> 네, 그런 거였는데 터미네이트라는 동사 자체가 끝내다 이런 의미가 있습니다. You could terminate a contract. Sure. You could terminate uh, someone's employment. Someone's employment. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah. Let's move on to the next expression, and it's to skyrocket. Go up, and yeah. we're, you see, we're talking about numbers, right? Yeah. So prices, um, you know, for example, someone's weight maybe could oh, skyrocket. That's not, good. that's not a good one. <laughs> Debt, like these kind of things, mm. and it means it. And it also has the implication that it happened very, very quickly, very suddenly, oh. and by a lot. By a lot, 꽤 많은 어, 그런 정도로 인해서 무언가 수치가 급. 등하는 거죠. 그래서 진짜 로켓이 천천히 올라가지 않잖아요. 확 이렇게 올라가죠. 그래서 skyrocket라는 동사는 급등하다, 치솟다라는 의미로 business news, economy news에서 많이 나옵니다. 다음은요. To target something or someone. Right, to target something. And yeah. as I mentioned earlier, if you're shooting something, right, like say you're doing archery, mm. you're shooting at a target. So you're sure. aiming at that. So when you use to target something or target somebody as a verb, it means that's your aim. You're aiming at those people. Mm. So in this case, it was an attack. So they're trying to kill Police officers, that's who they had targeted. Right. But if we're looking at businesses and they want to uh, get people interested in their product, mm. then they're going to target certain consumers with their advertising so they'll hopefully buy their products. To target someone or to target something. 누군가를 겨냥하다 아니면 목표 삼다라는 의미로 보면 되겠습니다. The last expression was under duress. Yeah, that's when you do something that you don't want to do because mm-hmm. you've been threatened or coerced, mm. uh, threatened with violence. So this is usually used when when somebody gives a c- false confession. Uh. They've they've been arrested by the police and the police are threatening them mm. to sign something and say they did it. Even though they didn't, so then that it's it's used as a defense in court, right? Right. I, I gave the confession under duress. The ah, police were threatening me. Right. So there's a threat involved. A threat involved, and then yeah. you do something mm. or say something that's not true, or you do something that you don't want to do. Right. Threat is a threat. So 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 threat is a threat. 자, 이렇게 오늘 헤드라인에 나온 표현들 리뷰해봤고요. 모닝 헤드라인 익스프레션스는 오디오 어학당과 또 유튜브에서 무료로 다시 듣게 하실 수 있습니다. 자, 그러면 은 2월 2일 목요일 모닝 헤드라인스 뉴스카스터 레이와 함께 시작합니다. People in the top 20% income bracket in Korea are earning 15 times more than those in the bottom 20%, according to data from the National Tax Service. 국세청 자료에 따르면 우리나라 소득계층 어, 상위 20% 구간에 속한 고소득자들이 하위 20%의 15배에 달하는 소득을 벌어들인 것으로 나타났습니다. 
Beijing has announced it will conduct PCR tests on arrivals from South Korea only in its latest tit-for-tat response over Seoul's strengthened antivirus curbs against travelers from China. 중국 정부가 한국발 입국자에 한해 전수 코로나 점, 검사를 실시한다고 밝혔습니다. 이는 중국발 입국자에 대한 한국의 방역 강화 방침에 맞서는 보복 조치로 보입니다. Figures released by the EU statistics agency show that the eurozone's economy outpaced the US and China last year, reversing traditional positions. 유럽연합 통계기구의 발표에 따르면 유로화를 사용하는 19개국 일명 유로존의 지난해 경제 성장률이 예년과 달리 미국과 중국을 제친 것으로 나타났습니다. Wind and solar power generated a fifth of Europe's electricity in 2022. Overtaking gas for the first time, according to a new report published by energy think tank Ember. 작년 한해 어, 전 유럽 소비 전력의 5분의 1을 풍력과 태, 태양광 발전을 통해 얻은 것으로 영국의 에너지 싱크탱크 Ember가 발표했습니다. 해당 에너지 비중이 가스를 앞지른 것은 이번이 처음입니다. The British Museum has unveiled a one-of-a-kind Tudor gold pendant and chain bearing the initials of Henry VIII, discovered by a cafe owner in the UK. Henry VIII's initials 새겨진 Tudor 왕조 시대의 진귀한 금목걸이가 영국의 한 카페 주인에 의해 발견된 후 대형 박물관을 통해 최근 공개됐습니다. And those are our headlines. Morning Headline Expressions 자, Expressions 보겠습니다. The first one was Income Bracket. Yeah, Income Bracket's a category yes. or a group mm. of people based on their income. 그렇죠. 소득 구간인데요. 여기서는 소득 상위 20%, 소득 하위 20% 구간을 얘기하면서 the top 20% income bracket, the bottom 20% income bracket. It can also be used to refer to a range of incomes when yeah. you're paying your taxes. Mm-hmm. So for the first, if when you're within all your money within the first bracket, mm. you pay X amount of mm. tax. Then if your income goes to the next bracket, you pay the higher rate just exactly. on the money, just on the amount mm. that fits into that next bracket. 그렇죠. 우리가 이제 세금을 낼 때도 어떤 구간에 속하느냐에 따라 세금 내는 게 다르잖아요. 그때도 bracket라는 표현을 쓸수 있습니다. Income bracket, 소득 구간이 되겠고요. Tip for tat. Eye for an eye. Mm. I'm going to seek revenge. You did something to me. Okay, I'm going to do, do the do, same back. Yeah, I'm going to do something back to you that you don't <laughs> like. <laughs> 아, 그렇죠. 어, 보복입니다. Tip for tat. Be very childish sometimes, right? Mm. In this case, we're talking about China saying mm. arrivals from South Korea only will have to undergo PCR tests. Yes. And it's strange because a lot of countries around the world are testing arrivals from China, but for some reason, China is only testing travelers from South Korea. And they say it's, it's a tip for tat. Yeah, they're, they're not happy about the uh, visa changes, visa restrictions. 그래요. Tip for tat. 자, next expression, outpace. Outpace, to grow faster yeah. or to develop quicker. So there's that connotation of speed in it, here, isn't there? It is, there? exactly. Yeah. Like pace. It, if you read about... Um, Sun Hong Min, the soccer player, yeah, a yeah. lot of times they talk about his pace. Oh, oh he was able to outpace the defenders because he's ah. so quick. It's kind of a term you see about him all the time. 그러네요. His great, the fact that he can use both feet mm-hmm. and his pace is what you always hear about. Sun Hong Min outpaced his opponents or his rivals yeah. or whoever. Yeah, yeah. defenders, yeah. Because mm. outpace, so pace, 우리가 보통 이제 pace 조절하다. 이런 얘기 하기도 하잖아요. 속도라는 뉘앙스가 들어 있어요. 그래서 outpace는 무엇보다 더 빨리 앞서가다라는 뉘앙스가 살짝 있다라는 거. 자, 다음에는요. to generate something. generate something, make something, produce something. yeah. I mean, we we're talking about energy generation. 음. how Europe was able to now generate more of its energy with wind and solar. 그렇죠. 에너지를 만들어내는 거죠. 그런 의미로 이제 generate energy라고 할수 있습니다. And initials? Initials. So if there's an S on the end, 
then we're talking about the first letter of a name or of a word. Mm. If we just say initial, then it means your first, so your initial reaction, mm. or what are your initial thoughts on this proposal? Uh -huh. What did you think first? Oh, because no one has just one initial in their name. There's going to be a name and a surname, so it's got to be more than one, right? Yeah, exactly. 이름의 앞글자 얘기할 때는 꼭 S가 붙네요. 어, 그래서 initials 이렇게 말하면은 이름의 앞글자라는 뜻이 되겠습니다. It could be a name, it could be a company as you said, or something mm -hmm. that is abbreviated as A, B, C, whatever. Exactly. The initials. Exactly. 네, 그래서 앞글자를 말합니다. 자, 이렇게 오늘 headline에서 나온 표현들 review 해봤어요. Morning headline expressions는 오디오 어학당과 유튜브에서 무료로 다시 듣게 하실 수 있습니다. 자 그럼 2월 3일 금요일 Morning Headlines Newscaster Paul과 함께 시작합니다. Korea's consumer prices in January rose 5.2% from a year earlier, according to Statistics Korea, due to higher utility and service prices, as well as increased industrial and agricultural products. 지난달 우리나라 소비자 물가 상승률이 1년 전보다 5.2% 올랐습니다. 전기, 가스 요금뿐만 아니라 공산품과 농산물 가격이 물가 상승을 이끈 것으로 나타났습니다. The US Federal Reserve has raised its benchmark interest rate by a quarter of a percentage point, marking a return to a slower pace of rate hikes after rapidly ratcheting up borrowing costs last year. 미국의 중앙은행인 연방준비제도가 기준금리를 0.25%포인트 추가 인상했습니다. 지난해 금리를 급격하게 올린 데 반해 이번에는 인상폭을 줄이며 통상적인 속도로 복귀했습니다. Ministers from OPEC plus countries convened digitally on Wednesday and endorsed the oil producer group's current output policy, leaving the 2 million barrel per day cut agreed last year in place. 오펙 플러스는 장관급 회의를 통해 원유 생산량을 하루 200만 배럴 줄이기로 한 기존의 감산 방침을 유지할 것을 산유국들에 권고했습니다. The European Commission has set out its Green Deal industrial plan to ensure the bloc does not lose ground in the green tech race and can counter massive subsidies by the US and China. 유럽연합 집행위원회가 미국과 중국의 친환경 산업 육성에 대응하기 위한 이른바 그린딜 산업 계획을 발표했습니다. Saudi Arabia has been confirmed as the host of the 2027 Asian Cup, marking the Desert Kingdom's first staging of the event which takes place every four years. 2027년 아시안컵 개최지로 사우디아라비아가 확정됐습니다. 4년마다 열리는 이 대회는 사우디아라비아에서는 처음으로 개최됩니다. And those are today's headlines. Morning headline expressions. We're going to have a look at the expressions, and this is due to it being in the script. Exactly, because <laughs> because we have it in the script, we will look at the expression due to. Due to. Because of a, a formal mm. way of saying it, you'll find it used in reports or yeah. in the news or in an mm. announcement, uh, but it just means because of. Exactly. Due to. Because of. Because of something. Due to something. 그런데 이제 뉘앙스 차이는요. Because of가 훨씬 일상적인 느낌. 그다음에 due to는 약간 정식, 뭐 공식적인 느낌. 포멀한 느낌이 살짝 있어요. 뭐 그런 차이입니다. 자, 그다음에 rapidly ratchet up. Yes, rapidly means quickly, uh, at speed, mm. and to ratchet up means to increase um, in a controlled sense, like you're using right. a tool. 아, 그래요. Ratchet up. To increase, how do you spell ratchet? R A T C H E T. Ratchet. ratchet. So there's a there's a T in there, but mm. you don't you don't necessarily hear it. Ah, ratchet. 이렇게 <laughs> 하지 않는군요. Ratchet. It's a rapidly ratchet up. 그럼 빠르게 뭔가 늘린다라는 뜻이 되겠습니다. 자, 그다음에 to convene 
digitally. Yes, means to meet online, to yeah. meet virtually. Yeah. Sue and I, as I said before, have convened in person today. We are face to face, yeah. not digital. I don't think I've ever met you digitally. Like, we've no. never had, like, a Yongsang Tongwa video chat or anything. No, I have to say, I don't like to convene digitally. Oh, 그래요? I prefer oh. to meet in person. <laughs> mm, me too, actually. 저도 그렇습니다. I like to meet people in person. 네. But sometimes you have to meet digitally or virtually if you're in a different country. Exactly. Like these OPEC plus ministers. Convene이라는 것은 이제 회합하다, 만나다, 모이다 라는 뜻인데요. 보통은 회의나 집회 같은 것에 모일 때 씁니다. 그 다음에 digitally 내지는 virtually 이거는 온라인으로 라는 뜻으로 보시면 되겠고요. 자, lose ground라는 표현도 있었죠? Yes, to lose your advantage in some kind of uh, com- competition or competitive situation coming from losing actual territory in a battle when 음. one army advances and the other retreats and they lose ground. 음. Lose ground는 뭐 입지가 좁아진다 라고도 볼수 있고 아니면 은 어, 뭔가 영향력이 좀 줄어든다 라고 볼수 있습니다. 그래서 losing um losing leverage yeah. which is like your what's another word for leverage your advantage your advantage 네 영향력 같은 거를 보통 leverage라고 하죠 그런데 그런 것이 줄어드는 걸 lose ground라고 하고 반대말은 to gain ground 네 yeah. 음, 그럼 입지를 굳히는 거죠 그냥 훨씬 영향력을 많이 행사할 수 있는 상황이 됐을 때 to gain ground라고 할수 있습니다 the last expression was to be confirmed as something. Yes, I can confirm that this means to mm. be officially announced. <laughs> ah, okay. Confirm. 확정하다, 뭐 확인하다의 네. 의미로도 볼수 있는데 it's sort of double checking to say this is absolutely correct. Exactly. So so you you want to get confirmation on a project to yeah. make sure everything's okay or mm. or you want someone to confirm the date of the meeting mm. or confirm whether you're conve- you're convening digitally or in person. 그래요. 그래서 우리 어 청문회는 어떤 사람이 이제 이 자리에 적합한 사람인지 아닌지 확인 확정하는 거잖아요. 네. 영어로는 confirmation hearing이라고 합니다. 자, 그래서 confirm이라는 표현 이렇게 살펴봤어요. 자, 오늘 헤드라인에서 나온 표현들 리뷰해봤고요. Morning headline expressions는 audio 어학단과 유튜브에서 무료로 다시 듣기하실 수 있습니다.